Hello and welcome back to Might and Magic 6, the Mandate of Heaven. And we're here at the Monolith. Which has a lot of maces and hammers. And axes. And pickaxes. So let's see if we have anything to excavate in here. This foreboding structure radiates magical power. Druids from all over Enroth make periodic pilgrimages to visit the sacred place. So I guess we will need to deal with druids. Perhaps this place isn't the right place for us. Or perhaps it is. We actually have a quest to go here, which is more than we can say for a lot of other things. There's a scrap of paper. Strange rock, strange tree. Why are they so strange? Look to nature where civilization fails. The rocks and trees, the sky and earth, all hold a power greater than man. Sky and earth, eh? More importantly, trees and rocks. The tree had gold in it. Is this a reference to Shangri-La? From Zine? Money just grows on trees, apparently. And there's druids. Uh, I think this is okay. It's not that many. Never mind, they were just on top of one another. <sighs> it should be fine, I think. We're still kind of more protected than not. Oh, this is... Potentially a problem. Hey, that's cheating. You're just throwing fireballs. Now, nobody can do anything. Now that is cheating, again. Hmm. Yeah, this is really... This is really cheating. Like, come on. I think I don't really have much of a choice but to just go in there. Stop it with the fireballs. Gauntlets. Aha! It's just gauntlets. We found gold in the tree once again. Strange rock. Plus. And the day of the gods. The rock shifts at your touch and nothing happens. Oh. 
Okay, this is not a good position for me yet. Grand druids, 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 druids. I need to get rid of the grand one. Alright, we got him! I think they are too far away. Hey, where do you think you're going? Appreciate the fireballs. That's more like it. Flowers. More flowers. Oh. Five thousand gold in the tree. Okay. Whatever you say. Good position. No, oops, not quite going to press. Okay, they might just never come out. Yeah, they're just going to camp. more gold. That's just a tree. Wow, 3,000 gold in the tree. There's clearly a strange rock here, not nothing. The door will otherwise not budge. Why, hello there, Earth Elementals! Good against Earth, I'm not too sure. Water, maybe. But let's throw a fireball. Twelve. Well, it did something. You have all our protections, so at least that's better. But... I did not expect elementals. This might be a problem. Also because Earth is technically... Um, physical damage, because this game does not have the typical elemental system. Like there's no protection from... Earth, so, yeah. I'm surprised it actually hit the Earth Elemental. Okay, it's actually in front. But it's going to be difficult to deal with them. Yeah, this might end poorly. But 
at least they seem to be very susceptible to physical damage themselves. Good. Our spirits. Get this next. Yeah, they're kind of like punching bags. That's pretty nice. Okay, we are still alive. Somehow. For the time being. That she says her touch. Um, there are skeletons that are being strangled by vines. That's slightly disturbing. Let's not touch too many vines, I guess. Hello there, water spirits and water beasts. No water elementals though, that's nice. Okay, this does not hit the other ones. They seem to be the quiet type. Yes, I think we just did this. So the water spirit. And they shoot ice. That kind of makes sense. So much for the water spirit and the water beast. Another water beast. All right, and there's a druid statue. Huh. Yeah, that didn't actually cause that much damage. I'm a bit surprised. There's a door which is kind of awkwardly there. But this does not look like a druid statue at all. It looks like a fountainhead. More skeletons. And a tree. And that's also a tree. This seems to be a... Oh. It's a cursing Stonehenge. I did not expect that. Who cures curses? I think that's a spirit thing, so you... Yes. Cursing aloud. Aha! Thunder Mace. That's nice, but not as good as a Wonder Mace. Uh. 
Hello there! That's a lot of druids. But it's probably still best to stay here, because otherwise... Well, they will just by themselves move to the side. Yeah, like that. Right, they can dispel spell points. That's actually pretty bad. Oh, hello there. They can also come up to us. Do not get Riker dispelled. That would be bad. You're not being good at shooting at us. Try better. Hello there. seem to be doing much, so... Attack. Alright, easy enough. Just one grand druid. Come on. There we go. No more dispels. Just a helmet. What do you think you're doing? Problem. That's kind of smart, I suppose. But not allowed. And there's some monoliths. I guess they also curse. Let's not touch them. to teleport out at this point, but let's just check what happens if I go... Oh! Oh! There's both Rock Beasts and Earth Elementals and Druids. Yeah, this one very poorly. Yep, nope, not dealing with that. Actually, if I am smart, I will put down a Lights Beacon. Here. And then recall a beacon. We go back to Freehaven. The Order of Ba welcomes you, friend. Gods <laughs> and heroism are about to expire. So let's do heroism. It's just 11. And rebless. The Order of Ba welcomes you, friend. <laughs> and the Lloyd's Beacon. Not this. Mm. Mm, yes, recall back to the monolith. Input output, let's go. Okay, let's try to get rid of the druids first. And this is good for a fireball.
Can I hit them with a ring of fire? Yes. Good. Let's use them as punching bags in the meanwhile. Let's surprise that uh, we're not having too much trouble with the elementals, because usually elementals are pretty tough in Might and Magic games. Well, at least our party members are quite happy. Everyone else is kind of running away, so that all All right. Oh, come on. Stop playing hide and seek. Ah. You gave away your position by trying to shoot at us. What's this? There's a door. There are monoliths that we're not supposed to be touching, so what gives? The trees don't seem to do anything. The ground doesn't seem to do anything. And the top doesn't seem to do anything. Oh. Okay, so this monolith is fine to touch. Good to know. And we're almost out of this. Seemingly are no enemies. That is also suspect. Tree. Tree. The door will not budge. I guess we're just getting the right monoliths. By accident. Why, hello there! That is a lot of enemies. Using Inferno would even be a good idea. Yeah, actually, I should go up here. So that I'm not affected by all their... ...spells. Fighting for the most part with spells, and uh, they're doing a very bad job. <laughs> Ow. Oh, there's Earth Elemental. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, why are there so many of them? That does not work. Yeah, this is not great. This is not great. Yeah, 
That helps a bit. But not that much. Okay, power cure. It's not exactly what I want to do, but that works, I suppose. Okay, so Earth Elementals can just knock us out. Good to know. Focus on the rock piece first. Cure. Ah. Ring of fire. Rock beasts that we can take out relatively easily. So let's miss it completely. Okay. Ouch. Okay, now we can focus on the Earth Elemental. Oh no. That's not what I want. At all. I need to be able to focus on that Earth Elemental. Or else we're all goners. Good, good, good. Sweet. Now let's heal. What? You were there all along. <laughs> Welp. Okay, let's try to survive this. Yes, that works. Everyone can just heal themselves. Still a lot of enemies around, so I don't really want to take chances. Okay. Now, let's just... Go right... <laughs> Here and hear something happening. That's not a good sign. Go 
Run, ah. Rose, need to go. Okay, that's regular druid, and there's also something on the other side. Monoths are kind of blocking our oh. side. Hey, it's one of gold. That's nice. Wow, really? This tree is blocking our shots. Wow, that is just fantastic. But there we go, and everything is green. So, yes. Royal Chainmail of Immunity, where is resistant to diseases? Well, Royal Chainmail is nice, but we already have Royal Chainmail of Vigor, and that's better. And Regeneration is also pretty nice. If we can get something else of regeneration, that's certainly something to replace. Sacred pool and an evil altar. We may be deceived about it being evil, though. Okay. So, can we survive opening this? Got it! Yes. Letter from Cedric Druthers. Oh, Night Gauntlets of Cold Resistance. Well, it's nice, but our gauntlets are pretty good. Defense, stars, already Cold Resistance, and Accuracy. Plus 8, plus 10, yeah, Cavaliers, so that's much better than this one. Plus 6, and Cold Resistance, yeah, indeed. Alright, so far so good. Why, hello there! What is this? Hello. Olympian Shield of Defense. Armor plus 19, armor class plus 25. These shields were forged by the Phynexian Empire during its brief rise to power on the steppes of southern Narathia. They are made of salt, a metal that takes well to enchantment, and contributed heavily to Phynexian military might. Unfortunately, very little of the metal could be mined, and Phynexia fell in 18... 864 AS to an elvish offensive. Of. Yeah, salt. We will uh, hear about that later. That is very good. Hello. Ultimate Gauntlets of Earth. Plus 10 to endurance, armor, and hit points. Dwarven smiths created this masterpiece of gauntlet design. Except for the extra bulk, there seems little difference between this gauntlet and a velvet glove. Clever sliding and rotating plates at the joints and wrists permit full normal hand motion while providing continuous protection at all times. Oh. Ultimate Gauntlets of Might. Oh. Scarab Ring of Dark Magic increases effect of all dark spells. A gold band adorned with the shell of a rare beetle found only in the deserts of Enroth. Treated properly by an alchemist, these shells can be made to hold the mightiest of enchantments. And... <sighs> a sacred spear. A smithy symbol and the date stamp indicate the spear was made in the magical forges of Governor Padish, 12 years before the silence. Yeah, these are pretty good. Pretty good. Something here? No. 
So the secret pool and the evil altar. Well, let's see what those are about. The pool shimmers as you touch it. Oh, we got this passageway. And plus five personality for druids and someone else. Oh, sorcerers, I guess. All right, these are some things. So who needs a hilarious amount of AC? This is already pretty good. Eh, this is okay. You cannot have shields. And this is also pretty good. So I guess our druid gets this ridiculous shield to AC from 87 to 117. Yes. Then gauntlets of might and gauntlets of endurance, armor and hit points. That is ridiculous. 10, 8, 10, 10, and 8. Accuracy plus 11. Endurance and accuracy. Armor class plus 5. Yeah, I guess you can give one away. And you can give one away. So, might, endurance, armor, hit points. This is really good for defense, so you get it. And you can get the might, that's also very useful. Alrighty then. And dark magic, well you are definitely the one to get that one. It's 12 plus 8, I guess this is the one that's least useful. Personality plus 8. Spell points don't even change. Dark magic. That will immediately make us better at resisting things. So let's see if this is 20 resistance from magic. That was 26 resistance from magic. That is a pretty good boost. And just to check this out. Where is this lead and what do we get out of it? Oh, it's uh, way back. The flowers smell nice. Yes, that's just leading to the exit. Our smell nice. Well, I guess that's it. We finished the quest and we're done with the second dungeon here. All we need to do is turn in the quest. And then we have nothing to do once again until we get to Wednesday. So I guess we can do another dungeon or something. But that will be for next time. See you then. Later.